First of all, I'd like to offer my condolences to the family. Um, there has been a significant occurrence on Court Street. Um, it is deeply disturbing. We have had relative, relative calm in Bermuda since November of last year. And so to be awakened out of my bed with the, sh with the news that there has been gunshot, gunshots in Bermuda, it's actually deeply disturbing. I think that going into a holiday weekend when we, when we are celebrating the emancipation of slavery in uh, uh, Bermuda, this is deeply disturbing for a number of reasons. And we are a country that we rely on uh, each other. We are a country that we rely on peace in our country. We have an international reputation. We have families that uh, when we hear of shootings and, and, and the like in our country, it disturbs our, the very essence of who we are. So to be back in this situation again, uh, it, 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 it is concerning. I do know that I have spoken with the office in charge of the investigation. The investigation is well in hand. It is in its embryonic stages and the Bermuda Police Service are doing that which they do to make sure that the this, this scene is, is, is covered and that the, the people that are responsible are brought to justice. I can say that the government has a long-term plan with reference to dealing with anti-social behavior. But tonight and for the next few days, we have to make sure that this country is safe. We have to make sure that when people are on the street, uh, when people are traveling, when people are at cup match, when people are at uh, the non on Mariners race when they're at uh, the beach on Friday and, and, and a Thursday and Friday that they feel safe and we have enough offices in Bermuda and we will ensure that we will not be kept hostage in this country over the next few weeks or if at all by any bad actors who want to act in, in, in a bad way we will hold them to account and I want to reassure the people of Bermuda that this is still a safe our country to live in and that we will do everything in our power to keep things calm. We'll make sure that um, everyone in Bermuda is protected. The Bermuda Police Service are committed to do so. The government is con uh, committed to do so. And what we need to do is in our neighborhoods, in our families, in our communities, we need to have these uh, the uncomfortable conversations. If there are young men, if there are young women, uh, they're doing anti-social behavior, uh, they're, we have to hold them to account. At the end of the day, no one wins when we are on Court Street uh, lamenting the death of a young man, being down at the hospital. Um, our Crisis, excuse me, our coordinated crisis response team, they are at the hospital cons uh, consoling family members, listening to them cry and scream. That is a difficult part of, 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 of this job. And we have to make sure that not another mother or not another father is at that hospital getting that call that one of their loved ones have indeed passed. And so I think whilst this is a sad night for the country, we should not mourn like a country that has no hope. We have a number of people in Bermuda that every day put on their pants and put on their skirts and go out and they govern themselves with honor. They live for the family and they love each other. And that is the spirit of who we are as Bermudians. And we have to continue to love each other. We have to continue to fight for each other. We have to continue to work hard in this community. And I believe that together we can get through this and any other difficult occurrence.